happy Wednesday. When you get a minute, go to that YouTube. Come on now, baby. How you doing? Good morning. No, not today, baby. I wish I could help you. When you get a minute, go to the... Hey, Miss Portia. Hey, Miss Vicky. What up, though? When you get a minute... You don't care. Please, you have no Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm mean, because I got I got a cup in the car. Damn. All right. Damn, y'all. Mm -mm -mm -mm. When you get a minute, go to that YouTube channel, Shit Kenya, and hit subscribe. Look at some of the videos. If you see something you like, damn, ain't no coffee. Just share it. Man, I was about to have a meltdown. Did y'all see that? It was about to, I was about to have a meltdown. So guys, calm down. Nobody's here. Well, they here, but they're on the other side. Calm down. Calm down. Far away, more than six feet. So guys, you know, yesterday I hit y'all with the. Now that you know your place in people's lives, how do you move now? You know, how do you move now? I gave you a couple of ways of how you might be moving. You have distancing yourself, uh, cutting people off, um, or acting like that you don't know what you know, just because you don't want to be by yourself. I know, that's the loneliest place when you realize that people ain't really messing with you for real. <laughs> it was all fake and I know. Now you by yourself because you don't cut everybody off. I know it's difficult. It's a difficult place to be in. It's a lonely place to be in. I know. I know. But you do what's best for you. So now, because the main reason why we got on the self-reflecting and then you realizing your, pay, your place in people's life was you was trying to figure out if you was the reason why you have a discouraged relationship with your baby. You was trying to figure out if it was other people that was had a hand in playing to make it to where you don't have a relationship with your baby. Have you ever been in a room with your child and they don't even speak to you? Have you ever been in a situation where your child has actually been in the same room with you and they don't even speak to you? Hey, Miss Vicky. Oh, you got some sugar? Thank you, Miss Vicky. So thoughtful, so thoughtful. Yeah, she told me. Can I steal this lid? Can I have this lid? Okay, thank you. Yes, I do. Thank you so much. Okay. So, yeah. I don't know if you feel like bringing out a cup like this. No, I'm, I'm going to steal your lid right here. So, guys, thank you, Miss Vicky, so much. I wouldn't do it for nobody. I know you wouldn't. You see that love? You see that love? That's what keep me going, guys. That's what keep me going. That love I get from people that don't know me but know me. Yep. So, I want you to know how, how do you move now. But... Now that it pertains to the child, how, how do you move now knowing your place in that child's life? The relationship is discouraged. You take the child and kind of wipe the lid off of Okay. 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 Thank you, Miss Vicky. Yeah, like like the relationship has been discouraged. You know, you, you got a feeling that it's probably the the baby mom or the baby daddy that's been talking about you and planting seeds in that baby ever since baby was probably little when y'all broke up and now it's to a point where your child feel like they don't have to make a choice yeah y'all in the same city stay up the street for one another but that child gotta choose <laughs> ain't that crazy that's abuse that's abuse right there because you got to force that child to do that you got to force that child to have these feelings about this individual that they don't even have yeah Think, think about that. Put yourself in that position where you done walked in the room, your child done walked in after you, and they don't even look at you. They don't even speak to you. They don't have no respect for you, none of that. How does that happen? Why would a child want to hurt you so bad? Why would a child go out their way to disrespect you like that? Yeah, you gotta think about it. Your child has been used in this game. <laughs> your child is a pawn. So your child is just pretty much emulating with somebody else now put in. So it's somebody else that wanna hurt you like that. It's somebody else that don't have no respect for you. I know, I know, <laughs> I 
I know. Hold on one tight. Let, let, let Auntie take care of this. How do you feel about that baby now? Miss Vicky, can you put the rest on pump two? Yeah. Now that the relationship is discouraged, now that you know you have done nothing wrong, how do you feel about that child? Do you think that child should have been smart enough to see the game? Right, because part of you is in that baby. You don't instill so much common sense and so much into that child that you would think that that child might have been smart enough to, to recognize the game, right? But they didn't. You would think that that child probably would have defended you when those people started talking bad about you. I know, you would think. You would think that that child would think about everything that you've done for them and kind of balance it out they self. <laughs> I know, ain't that a lot to put on a kid. But you would think your child would do that for you. Because why? Because you they mama or they daddy. I know, why would a child have to do that? But in this day and age, people do stuff that force a child to do things. I know, ain't that crazy? That's abuse. <laughs> I know, ain't that crazy? So yeah, knowing that this child was used as a pawn, Hey, how you doing, Nasir? How do you feel about that child? That child disrespects you. That child has no regards for you. That child has devalued you. This child has joined in on this bandwagon of these people who don't like you. I know, ain't that crazy? How could you not like somebody that you done laid down and had a baby with? How could you not like them? Like, I'm going to be honest with you. I got issues with people who don't have a relationship with their ex or don't have a, a not necessarily a relationship, but a friendship. With an ex or, or ex-wife, ex-husband, baby mama, baby daddy. Yeah, I have questions. <laughs> I, have, I have some serious questions if you do not have a relationship with them, especially if y'all got children together. It should still be some type of uh, ounce of love and respect still there. Just because. Just because of how you have to be and how you have to move for that child. I know. So let me see what else did I write down. Um, To tell you... That child, you would think that that child had enough respect for you to tell you if other people was talking about you. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but that's the last thing on this list over here. Oh, no. So, let me see. Think about, do you think about everything you did for that baby? Like, how could this baby do this to you? Yeah. Were you one of those parents that take your baby to school? Or are you one of those parents that take your baby to school every day? I know. Hey, Danielle. Hey, Terry. Yeah, I know that might not mean nothing to some of y'all. Some of y'all like that's what you're supposed to do. I know, and it is what you're supposed to do. Because me, myself, I don't believe no kid should be walking to school, no girl anyway, and I don't believe no little kid should be walking to school by themselves. So any job that I took, it had to accommodate my schedule. It had to accommodate my children's schedule. Like, I couldn't take no job no matter how much they pay if I'm not able to take my babies to school or pick them up. Hey, Derek, how you doing? Let me see what you're saying. A lot of parents turn the kids against the other family parents and so on. So, yep. They, yep. I know. I know. Trust me. I'm living a nightmare right now, Derek, as a result of. So, trust me. I know. So, yeah, guys. Think about that for a minute. Think about all the stuff you did for that baby. Just getting up and taking them to school every day. Have you had those days where gas was tight, <laughs> but you still got up? And took that baby to school and did what you had to do to make sure you was able to pick that baby up. I know. That's a lot. I know you're supposed to do it, but think about it. That's a lot. What if you do it every day? What about when your car break down? Did you Like when my car broke down, I got up every morning for like about a month and a half until I was able to save up enough money to get my car, get my car running. I, um, I had got up and walked. Walked them to school and walked them home every day. Yep, that's what I'm supposed to do. So I'm not looking for you to pat me on my back or nothing like that. I'm just saying, think about the sacrifices that you make. Are your kids in after school activities? I know. I couldn't take no extra work if, if they got to go to practice every day. You know, if you got a kid in after school activities, do you have a kid that you have to take to practice every day and pick them up every day? I know. I know you're supposed to do it because you're a parent, but think about that for it. That's a lot. If you have a, what if you have a child that's involved in multiple after school activities and you're taking them here and there and for damn near six days a week? Because not only do they have practice money through Friday, but they got, yeah, that right there should help the child make a decision. 
when it comes down to a parent turning a child against another parent and and it's up to a child to make a decision if a child got a parent that's doing all of that that should be counted towards the decision making process for that baby like that should that should come into play when they're talking bad about that that parent in front of the child that baby should stand up and be like don't talk about my mama and my daddy like that and i know you shouldn't have to raise a child to do that but know that there's people out here that's very manipulative it's people out here that have not healed it's people out here that's still mad at you for leaving them and they're going to do any and everything they can to bring you down tear you down and put you at a place to where you feel just like they do which is hurt hurt and damaged so therefore they use the baby because the baby the only thing that they can use to get to you yeah but yet that child should know unless you got a dumb baby and i'm sorry for saying that word i know it's, it's politically incorrect it's insensitive i know these things i know and, and, I, and i'm apologizing you for saying that but if you have a child that's being raised by both of y'all and that's being manipulated and the child can't see can't see especially because if you are a vigilant parent you, you you're you not an absent parent you have never neglected that baby and you have never abused that baby that baby got enough ammo and ammunition to fight back when people talk about you and say things and do things that baby should be strong enough that baby should have enough love for both of y'all to where if they have to be put in a position to where they're being torn apart and they have to defend you that child should be strong enough to stand up and do so it should be no way a child should be walking around mad and hating you for something that you did not even do. Yeah, it should be no way. That child should be smarter than that. You would think. Yeah. So, do you go to games? I know. I never missed a volleyball game. I never missed a basketball game. And I had two kids playing at the same time. So, it was two or three games I would have to attend in a day. Yeah, think about the gas. Think about the time. Do you do it? I know I'm supposed to do it because I'm a parent. I'm not asking you to pat me on my back. But do you go to all your children's games? I know. Do you make all their award ceremonies? All their performances? All You should get credit for that. You should get credit for that. Do you show up? When asked, do you do you show up? I know. So, yeah, that, 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 that it wasn't really a point today, guys. I really just wanted to piggyback off of yesterday where we talked about you finding your place in people's life. And I wanted to know if the baby was included in that. How do you move now that you know your place in your child's life? Yeah, where do you fit in? Do you fit in? <laughs> Are you a part of that child's life? I know. And how do you feel about that baby now that everything has happened? I know. So that's it, y'all, for coffee and conversation with your girl, Shakenya. I'm out. Mwah.